Well, my friends, it's finally happening. After weeks of being on the road, Nintendo heard I was moving and they invited me to move to them. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. This video is amazing and I cannot wait to share it with you because things are about to get really intimate. All right, you, me, you, me, you, me and Nintendo. So make sure to smash that like button if you enjoy ACNH and let me know what you think about what I'm about to show you in the comments down below. Big changes are afoot at Switch Force. And speaking of afoot, my character is rocking some new feet and a new outfit. I really like this one. It looks so good. It's keeping me cozy and warm through all the wintry months, no matter where I may be. And I hope you're staying warm and cozy wherever you are. If it's hot, if it's cold, you just stay cuddled up watching your movies, eating your eggnog, drinking your popcorn, and enjoying some ACNH with you and me. That's how I was, ba oh! I wonder what Nintendo has prepared for me. I wonder how they've used 2.0 to make the upgrades that will make us excited because we've been through a lot with this place. I've visited before. It was really terrible. Who does this? Who lines up all of their tools? The cotton, not the cotton candy again, guys. The cotton candy cart by itself with nobody to man it, no station, no sitting area. This is the kind of disaster I'm talking about. And you even had the guts. You had the little doggy balls to post about it and say, come check out our upgraded island. I don't even know how to process this properly except to say, oh my goodness gracious Nintendo. And then it got a little bit better and then I realized that they were just trying to make people like me who can't design professionally feel really good. But now that 2.0 is struck, Apparently, this place has been upgraded and they invited me to move in and I am ready to visit Nintendo's official place of passion, paradise, and purpose. What have you done with 2.0? I would bet that at some point between the ages of 6 and 14, most of y'all wanted a sugar glider. Today's video is brought to you by Away, the survival series, an awesome new game where you get to be a sugar glider. You get to be the adorable creature playing through your own nature documentary, trying to save your family, survive, fight off predators, and soar. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every night and day. Holy crap, I just sent my sugar glider away. This is beautiful. Following our mom and absolutely attacking these little slugs. Give it to me, baby. I'm gonna eat you all up. So I'm ready for big jumps, big jumps. Oh, it's so darn good. And as if being a sugar glider wasn't perfect enough, in this game, you also get to be bugs and lizards and crabs trying your best to survive a dangerous but gorgeous world. So make sure to click the link in the description down below because this game is 35% off right now till December 1st. And every time you click that link, not only do you get to fulfill your childhood destiny, but you also help support Switch Force and the channel. So go ahead, click that button and check out Away, the survival series today where you can be a sugar glider. Oh, isn't that game the cutest? Almost as adorable as my stretched fish eye face. Please check it out, it's a lot of fun and I'd super appreciate you clicking that link. What have you done with this little strange sign on this little toadstool? Tom Nook is clearly taking over. I mean, he's got little banners everywhere. And he, oh my gosh, really? A donation box of gyro, <laughs> a donation box of gyroids. Of course Tom Nook would do that. It's so on theme, right? Remember last time? Oh my goodness gracious. I was impressed last time by their Mario inclusions, but here we go. Okay, okay, I got it. Give me, get on the keys. I'm joining the gyroid faithful. Here we go. The gyroidators, the gyroidators. Look at this. All right. Do, 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 do. Gyroids are the very best thing. They look so fun and they make me want to sing. I see yellow and red and purple too. I like gyroids now. How about you? This island is already fantastic. They, they're writing the jingles for me, Nintendo. They told me if I moved in, I had to write their jingles. That was kind of the agreement. I was like, dude, I'll take free, free rent for a few jingles. I pop those off like it's a pimple. That's disgusting. I'm so sorry for saying that. Um, but I do like writing jingles and I do like living with Nintendo. It's been hard to find a home. I've been Airbnb it up for a while now. I love that they got gyroids everywhere. Okay, a lot of little zesty seasonal variety and this gyroid, oh my gosh. I think he has to go to the bathroom. I'm really concerned about this guy. Are, are you okay? Hello? Are, are you struggling? I feel like, I feel like some, oh my God, look at, look at him. 
he's seriously backed up. Okay, let's head over here. Speaking of backed up to the back of the end, look at these custom fences looking so lovely. I love the additions they've made there. Wonderfully working them color schemes. And Nintendo, you know, they are really just, look at this, hiding these little, little mushrooms out. They're really just making this a much more fleshed out island. Oh, I like this right here, this little beautiful little place. This is probably where I would sleep. I don't know, I think it's a dirty floor. I'm a little bit germaphobic, but I think that could be a-okay. Now we do have the Mario section in the background to see the upgrades, but check this out. This is Brewster's Mock Cafe. Nintendo, Nintendo, wait, 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 pause. Did you know that Brewster's actually in the, the game? Have they even upgraded the roof? Okay, we have to find out if they upgraded the roof. Do they really think Brewster deserves to be outside? This could change everything. If I'm telling you, if Nintendo does not have the roost, I will lose my mind. If Nintendo themselves have, okay, they do. Oh gosh, Blathers, we almost had a freaking corruption eruption. I was gonna say, is, that, is anyone at the roost today for Nintendo? I mean, this is where I'm gonna be spending a lot of my time. Nintendo knows that I said I wanted a free pass to the roost, so I got free coffee, cocoa, and tea whenever I wanted. They're just gonna make it for me, which is really nice. Brewster, my boy, other Brewster, my boy. I'm so glad to see you. Good Brewster voice, right? I've been practicing. They're using them umbrellas in fine fashion. We haven't been here since May, if you did not know. It has been quite a while. All right, now they got this train chilling here. They got their slot machine. They've got, uh, I think this was here before, honestly. Ooh, a little archway. <gasps> Farm! 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 They made their camps. Oh, yes. You guys, you know I love their camps. This is like that little hoedown zone with, oh, now with the maracas? <laughs> Everybody's having a great camping time. The fish and the octopi and the fine wine. We've got some kebabs. We've got an invisible man. Sit down and have a Thanksgiving plan. Where is Chuckles? Where is Chuckles? Where is Leaf? Where is Leaf? They do, they are showing off though. All, oh, look at this. I like this table here. This is nice. A little watering can with some fun colors. We got our crops, crops of plenty. All right, they're growing just a few crops and they literally, they, they love the gyros. I mean, they just like to jiggle wiggle. I like that too. All right, this is a very nice area and they really improved upon this. They have done, last time I said like, I think Nintendo took it to a four star level. I don't know. I don't know, Velma. You're a very strange villager choice, but I'm wondering if Nintendo has gone, look at this. What is this? I've never seen this. This is, this is hot. What would you call this? It's like a light bright, but advanced style. What, what even is this? Hmm, that's very cool. I believe it's Nook Friday, or it should be Nook Friday, but maybe not. No, they still are paying tribute to all hail Lord Zipper. All hail Lord Zipper. Very strange. Very odd that they choose to recognize such an evil, devious spirit. But this is a nice section. Oh, they really colorful up this place. All right, some nice in Rio inclusions. Okay, okay. We got the, oh, over here, I think this was the puppy park. Or is the puppy park still here? I don't know. It looks like they've got a better puppy park, but there used to be a puppy over here and I was just, me and the puppy were just, we were just bumming about Nintendo's Island. But it looks like they have really upgraded some things here. Nicely done, pom pom pouring. Really uh, loving up with that Sanrio stuff. Go buy their cards, right? That's what they're trying to, trying to tell you. In their amazing, but strangely obsessive zipper section, zipper tea bunny. Um, we have some more houses down on the Southern frontier. All right, they use the beach. Oh my gosh, Gyroids on the beach. Very nice, very, very elegant. I appreciate you. You've got the basketball court. And let's head back to that second section to see what they've added beyond the crop circles, all right? I like your campsite. I think Nintendo Talk would be proud. And it looks like they've crafted a wonderful theme park back here. Look at this. They've got the beautiful butt chair. Too big for my butt. I'm just sinking right straight in. Ooh, look at that, covering me up, adding a whole lot of a, a lot of tushy to my dude. Look at this. This is very inappropriate, Nintendo. Look at this angle, cover, th you can't watch. Goodness gracious, throw a filter on that, Editor Gabe. It's inappropriate. All right, pop off my big butt stool. Oh, look at this, okay, the puppy has been, I don't know, they, the puppy is gone. There used to be a puppy here, but now they've made this wonderful little dining set where I can have all of my swanky business meetings. Hello, my good friends, welcome to be here. I hope that you're excited for me to play another song on the big organ. This is like Davy Jones or Beauty and the Beast style. 
Hanukkah, it's coming in early. Christmas is a little later. Kwanzaa and Diwali soon. It's holiday time on the moon. Does the moon creature spend a holiday at home or do they spend it away? Yay. I'm basically Jonathan Larson. All right, away we go. More mushrooms, I really like that. Oh, wedding bells, dude. Somebody getting married at the nuptials? Man. <laughs> Sound the alarm, Nintendo. I'm moving in. This is what Nintendo's being like. Oh my God, Zach from Switch Force is here. Holy cow, we're just in for a world of rhymes and a lot of screams, especially if we show off a new trailer. You know how that happened. They 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 saw my last thing and they were like, that's how I was. Ba oh, is that a thing? Am I, am I, am I, am I, am I dreaming or? Dudes, is this a thing? There's a Princess Peach flower item? This is, is this in the game? What the heck? I, am I, have I missed this? Is that a custom design? What is that? That is so sick. I don't know how they did that or if that's, I, I don't know. I've never seen that. All hail my boy. Pave is coming back. Pave is sooner than you think. Pave is in like two months. I don't think he's going to have anything new. Maybe he will. I don't know. But, or maybe some of the items that already have been unveiled are actually Pave's. He's like, mine. It's going to take him soon. That is really... That is really wild. The Mario items have been included over there. And now we're going to go check out this other section. I like all these lockers. That's a nice item. I saw Wardell hanging out with that item before he turned into a two times thief stealer. All right. Over here, we've got, what is this? Some boxes. Oh, some Moo Moo milk, some coffee milk. What do you got? Hmm. I'm shaking that. I'm shaking that milk. Milk shaker. <laughs> and vines. Nintendo got them vines. Hello? There we go, Nintendo, let me climb your vines up to your gazebo, otherwise known as gazebo, but it looks better on their island. All right, really nice terraforming. They got a lot of different fruits up here, some suits of armor, and then we of course have our beautiful Super Mario section over at yonder. The tomato plants are looking nice. Some really elegant grooming of this island. They snip, snip, clip their way to a pretty well manicured place. I gotta give them major props. Y'all gotta let me know if you think this is five star worthy, if Nintendo has reached the ultimate zone of five stars for their wonderful island. They've got a lot of diverse um, areas here. And I know there's a warp pipe or two, so we'll have to see if we can spot that. This playground has been here for a while. A more obsession with Easter, I don't I don't quite understand. I don't know why they're so big. I guess it was the first holiday in ACNH. And, and it's the one that Nintendo, I guess, spent the most time and effort on. So maybe they're like, dang it. You better appreciate our holiday of all holidays. All right, let's head over and see if we can get beyond. Oh, maple leaves are falling. Very cute and clever. Let's head to this side. We've got our custom fences that we saw. And this is gonna move us back to Nook's Mario extravaganza. All right, we got some nice globby feathers and we have a real spooky section of the new Halloween items. All right, they decide, oh, don't terrify me like this. It's Mario in the Forbidden Woods. All right, they got bell bags and gold nuggies. Thanks for the gold nuggie, appreciate you. And this spooky lamp on the beach side, waiting for my treasure seeker, Red. I wish you could go out in the ocean and do like a little treasure hunt with him. That'd be cool, like a mini game where you have to like fish for treasure. I really would like that, I really would love that. They're not gonna do it, but hey, one can imagine a dream. All right, very nice. We've got this little setup here, Wario's clothes, all the coins, a little bit of a North Pole ribbon strip here. Now, the place that always made me laugh and giggle is their little tool section. So I want to see how that's doing. Um, let's let's go. I think it's back on the the northeast corner. I believe that'd be that way. Northeast corner. All right. This is their little Mario display, and they've got all these different uh, this paraphernalia from each Mario game. Re different power ups. Okay, like feathers, and this is from Mario Two. This is supposed to be the flood from Mario Sunshine. His like water backpack. Very very nifty. We got the wedding cap from Mario Odyssey. Tanuki suit. Is a bubble blower? Where is a bubble blower from? What Mario game blows bubbles? I don't know, that's very interesting. I'm guessing, oh, maybe it's, this is Galaxy 1, and then could this be Galaxy 2? Hmm, I'm not exactly sure, but I do love that area. They've had that for a bit now, but a beautiful tribute to Mario is really quite fun, paying homage to Nintendo's biggest, best franchise, paying homage to, oh, inside the house where the thwomp tries to sit on my little head. Lickety split, all right. Let's see if they've done any 2.0 upgrades. I feel like they've used a, a moderate amount of, this is a Sanrio room, yes. A moderate amount of 2.0 items, 
but maybe not as many as I was expecting. They've used a lot of gyroids. It seems like that's what they focused on. And I guess back in that Northwest corner, they do have the full on like theme park display. The one that has like the big castle archway and uh, the big, there's the big gazebo and some of that, the big carousel. Some of that stuff does look really nice. And obviously is 2.0 focus. They even have some nice gyroids in the kitchen and dishes what they cook up for us. Oh, a welcome stew, a nice chef salad. And what is this? What fish is this? Mahi Mahi? A big old tuna? A sea bass? I like this uh, this fall stew here. Feeling very, getting very Panera vibes from this place. Oh, they also have, speaking of new items, they've got the Nook Clock from the Nook Link app, which is awesome. That's the best item I think that they've ever added that, that you can use your Nook points for. A fantastic little uh, basket, a cornucopia of harvest goods here. Some chocolate chip cookies, some coffee beans from Brewster himself. Look at that, his coffee grains. There he is, paying homage to the big pigeon himself. Big Bird ain't got nothing on you, my new favorite bird. I've always loved Sesame Street, but I think Brewster, you know, man, I watch him waddle around with some dude with his hand in his mouth for a very long time. All right, Thwomp Man, try not to crush me in my own dang home. I think Nintendo doesn't want me to live here, though. I think they want me to live outside in that tent. It seems like that's what they have picked for me to do. Aha, uh -huh. oh, th this balloon is really nice. We got some cool stuff on the ceiling. A nice little yoga mat, right? This is from uh, doing our stretches in the plaza with our Joy-Con getting fit, staying nimble. All right, a little bed there. This is a very nice little place. I'm really impressed from where they began to where they are now. Like, it really is a glow up. It really is an impressive, impressive thing. They've really done quite a lot. They still don't have a downstairs or upstairs, which is a little odd for, you know, two years of the game or whatever. But okay, hey, we're gonna take what we can get and check out their patterns. Do they, have they added anything fun for us to take home after this wonderful journey? Cause I think they've really done a nice job. They did, they did pop the puppy or I don't know, threw him into the ocean. I sent him to, they sent him to, to the archipelago is my guess. Um, because there is no, that's so cool. I love that item. There is no puppy on the beach anymore like there used to be. What do you got? What do you got custom design wise? Have you added anything or is it merely gonna just be Nook's face? Because if it's just Nook's face, I feel like, come on, Nintendo. I know you've been you've been grinding out those updates, 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, but could we get a little bit of sauce in the custom design portal, please? I enter the portal and we've got one. Oh, okay. I don't know if any of these are new, but we've got coconut tree fan. We got some Isabel pan. I think this is all. I don't think they added any custom designs. They got me a little excited for a second there, but I think this is Nintendo just playing it safe on the custom design front. A wonderful pergola lurking in front of the museum. And uh, we've got some nice things by the houses. Anything, the beach is pretty bare. Um, this is a nice other Mario section. We can go take a peek. It's to the east side of the island over yonder. We do have a little squid man there. We've got some Luigi's and we've got, yeah, the, the, the little like a tribute center to the wonderful world of Super Mario Bros, including the one up, and I think that this island has leveled up. You know, from where it began, if you remember watching the first video, to where it is now, quite an impressive change, quite an impressive update. I'm 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 happy, Nintendo. I think you've finally done justice. You scared the heck out of me by putting Brewster outside. I was like, oh dear lordy, what did you do? Did you leave the main main pitch and the main the purpose of the 2.0 update out of all of the awesome equations? It's kind of kind of ugly, but they saved it, they saved Brewster, they gyroided the heck out of the place, and they put a bunch of new 2.0 stuff in. So let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this island, what you like about it, what you don't, and if you would rate it. Three stars, four stars, or five stars. Have they reached the ultimate level with some of their upgrades and some of their changes and some of their elegance, especially on the western side of the island? What do you guys think? What do you feel? This is my new home. I've moved in. Nintendo, you're stuck with me. Y'all are stuck with me too. So until next time, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all being a part of my wonderful friends and family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, everybody, I love you a lot. Thanks again. Switch Force, out.